Hello, hello, how are you? Today I am back again because I thought I would talk a little Jo Malone. As you know, I love Jo Malone. They are one of my favorite perfumeries and they do so many amazing things like we have here. I'm gonna spritz some. This is the body oil and I love it. This is the Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, today I thought I would talk about Jo Malone gifts. So when I'm buying Jo Malone, I kind of buy my favorites. But then when I'm buying for somebody else, I go a little bit more luxurious and fail safe. So today I thought I would pick out a few favorites, which I always think make great gifts. Also apologies for my fringe, we're still in lockdown. I'm struggling to neaten up this bad boy. You're just gonna have to bear with me. So first of all, I thought I would talk about most affordable gift. Now the most affordable thing in the shop is obviously the soap, but I think that's an amazing gift because the soaps are beautiful. They're about 16 pounds each. They come in, I think five or six different fragrances. They all come beautifully packaged in like decorated paper, which reflects the scent of the soaps and they're just so pretty. My personal favorite would have to be Lime Basil Mandarin for the soap. It's really fresh, really uplifting, really zesty. And also as a soap, it is beautiful because it makes a gorgeous, thick, creamy, lovely lather. If you don't normally like soaps, then you need to try these ones because they are just really, really, really luxy and lovely. And I think they make a really cute little token gift. They just look like beautiful little parcels and I think they're just lovely. I really, I really like them. And for 16 pounds, it's just a really cute little thank you or a nod to a special occasion. And I just think the soaps are lovely. Next, if you're buying for a young lady, I would say to go for either the Poppy and Barley, because that is so pretty. Oh, I love this one. Or I would go for the Peony and Blush Suede. Peony and Blush Suede would probably be my top choice out of the two, just because it's a little bit more pretty and fun and girly, and it's one of the best sellers, and it's peony, and it's pretty, and it's fresh and floral, and it's got this, like, blush suede going on which makes it kind of velvety luxurious and almost kind of a little bit leathery it's really really pretty and it is one of the most popular fragrances so the chances are she's gonna like it i personally think it's a little bit more of a younger fragrance it's very pretty very very blush pink you know what i'm saying it's really really lovely although if you're buying for somebody who likes something a little bit more edgy i would probably say cardamom and mimosa is a really good younger fragrance but just a little bit more i don't know it's got a little bit more do you know what i mean it's a bit more like cool west london 20 year old hipster or of course poppy and barley i love it's such a it's such a warm inviting floral dry earthy fragrance that i think is impossible not to love so that's what I would buy for a young lady. For a man, I would probably go for the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne because it's just a really good coastal, earthy, aquatic, minerally fragrance. It's got a little bit of like a herbaceous note. It's quite no fragrance fragrance. It feels very cool, very millennial. And it's just a really good fragrance for like every day and it feels special but it also feels understated. I think it's a great men's fragrance and also if you want to combine it with another fragrance it's a really good fragrance combiner or if he doesn't like it he could share it with his lady friend. Um, oh as for a candle for men I would go for Oud and Bergamot. That's a great man's candle. It comes in a black jar. It looks a bit a little more luxurious and masculine and it's got this kind of dark smokiness but also some kind of like a lemony bergamotty i don't know there's just something about oud and bergamot which is really good but it's also a little bit more masculine and my dad my brother loves a good candle and if i was shopping for them i would go for the oud and bergamot candle but i would go for the wood sage and sea salt cologne oh if you're shopping for somebody who loves a good bath I would always, always, always go Red Roses bath oil. It's so beautiful, so luxurious. It's got this kind of like green, rosy kind of vibe, but it's also a little bit fresh. It feels very modern. It's very luxurious, very opulent. Actually, I found quite a lot of men really like the Red Roses bath oil. 
so beautiful it's impossible not to love and when it hits water it kind of turns the water a little bit milky and soft it's so good it's literally i think the best bath oil it's the most beautiful fragrance and it's just a really indulgent lovely bath oil such a good gift such a good treat such a wonderful 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 product if you are looking for a fail safe cologne for kind of like any age woman I would probably go for English Pear and Freesia. It's one of those fragrances which is kind of impossible not to enjoy. It's one of the best sellers. In fact, I think it's one of their top three best sellers. It's kind of become quite a modern signature fragrance for the brand. It's just really fun. It's really uplifting. It's really elegant. It's really lovely. It's very intrinsically Jo Malone. And I think for any aged woman, it's just a really great, great, great cologne. Um, yeah, it's just lovely. It's such a crowd pleaser. It's so joyful. It's good for summer, good for winter. It's just a really lovely, lovely, lovely fragrance. If you're shopping for somebody who loves their kitchen, who loves to bake, who loves to cook and spend time just in the house and in the kitchen, then I would say a hand wash and maybe a hand wash and hand lotion duo is an amazing gift. It looks gorgeous in the kitchen. It's, it just kind of says like, welcome, welcome to my home. Things are wonderful. And um, yeah, I think it's a really lovely gift and it's a really lovely duo. It's a little bit less obvious than maybe like a bath oil and a body lotion, but it's something that's really, really lovely, especially for somebody who spends a lot of time in the kitchen and a lot of time cooking. My mum is always in the kitchen. She is always cooking. And she loves being given a hand wash and hand lotion duo. So if you are buying for somebody who is a cook, who loves to spend time in the kitchen, I would say a hand wash and hand lotion duo. And I would say get it in Earl Grey and Cucumber because that's got this kind of like quite fresh and uplifting, a very clean vibe, but it's also quite homely and daytimey and really lovely and yeah i think it's a beautiful fragrance and it's perfect for the kitchen finally if you are shopping for a bride or if you are the bride and you're shopping for a bridesmaid i would say go for anything 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 in orange blossom personally i would say probably go for a cologne because that's the most special it could definitely be a bridal fragrance mm. the orange blossom is just so summery and bright and fresh and floral and fruity but really elegant really special and really just kind of like i think good things happen when you wear the orange blossom cologne and i think it's such a perfect bridal fragrance and i think also if you were a bridesmaid it would be a bridesmaid fragrance which would feel just really special and like you were part of something so amazing and it would make you think of that day forevermore so i think anything bridal related always orange blossom but instead of going for like a bath and body product i would always say spend a little bit more go for the clone because i think it will be worth it it's just such a lovely special bride wedding friendly fragrance and that is what i would go for if i was buying for anything wedding related for a woman anyway not, not for the man it's not a very masculine fragrance but it is wonderful for the ladies for a wedding. Um, and that's kind of it, that is my video. They are my top kind of gifts for different people and different occasions. I think they're all beautiful. Yeah, I think they're all real crowd pleasers that fit the occasion and fit the person. And I just wanted to share them with you because I often get asked like, what's the best Jo Malone to give for a gift? And I don't know, I think, I think, those are probably the things that I would give for all the different people. And I think, um, yeah, I think they're all really special and they're all quite fail safe. And I think that's really important. Also, if you are buying a cologne or a candle, you can get the lids engraved, which makes it really, really special. And um, you can often get the boxes monogrammed too, which is also a really nice touch. It's all on the website. So do click the links if you want to have a look. And yeah, I think that is, that is us. We are done. We are, we are done. That is my video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. If you have any Jo Malone related thoughts, always let me know. I'm always keen to chat Jo Malone and thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>